December 7, 1941 started out as a sleepy, eerie Sunday. Many were headed to the theater for an afternoon film, or to the ice rink with friends. The serenity and simplicity did not last long. And I was walking down the street, there was all kinds of hubbub and noises uh, uh, on the street. And I could hear the loudspeakers uh, uh, from uh, playing right on 18th Street, which was the main street of Blitlidley, saying the Japanese had attacked Pearl Harbor. Well, I had no idea what that meant. So it was December 7th, 1941. The Japanese had attacked Pearl Harbor. Erie residents flocked to their radios, others to the streets for the latest news. Erie Daily Times extras flooded the streets of Erie, held up in the air by paper boys eager to make a quarter. Um, it came out to the old, the Times New Erie Dispatch Herald, which was located at 12th and French. And the and us kids used to actually go down there and stick our nose against the window and watch the papers as they rolled over on the machine. But when something like Pearl Harbor or some catastrophe went up, we would go down to the news and they would give us bundles of papers and we would run around the street town extra extra, read all about it and, and sell the newspapers. The news came in pieces. A sneak attack. 2,400 dead. The world stopped on that Sunday morning in Erie. Some cried, others stared in disbelief and anger. Many Erie residents were aware of what the news meant. Not only was the Japanese attack a devastating loss of life, but it meant war for a once isolated nation. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. They realized it meant most of their sons, fathers, brothers would soon be headed overseas to fight for America. They realized things would never be the same. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire.